This clock belongs to a dear friend of mine, and she told me a story the other day that was just so enlightening to me. She gave me permission to retell it. She uh, loves this clock, loves this clock. It, it matches her office beautifully. She has a brushed steel lamp, a couple of them, and it coordinates, and it's the perfect size, and she loves to look at it, and one day it stopped working. So she went to go and put in new batteries, and to her incredible disappointment, after the batteries were installed, the clock still didn't work. And she knew she wanted to have something in her office that was as beautiful as, if not more beautiful, than this clock. So she did what any of us would do. If you love something enough that you really want to replace it or replicate it, she drove all over town looking for a clock that was like this one, store after store. And finally she found one it wasn't quite the same, but it would do. And she brought it back home and came home and put the batteries in. Ah, and guess what? That clock didn't work either. So she opened it up to take the batteries out and she realized Wait a minute, a light bulb went on in her head. So she came back and she got her old clock that she loved so much and she decided she'd try this again. So she took off the cover and she put the battery in, only this time she did it the opposite way of what she originally did and voila, the clock worked again. I love this story because it is so representative of what we tend to do when something isn't working. We run all over the place, rack our brains, sometimes go to great lengths and great expense and expend a lot of energy trying to come up with a solution when all we really needed to do was make a simple little shift using what we already had right in front of us.